Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to actually enter data that what goes along with the questionnaire we created in parts 1 and 2. Um, I've come up with five fake people who answered my questionnaire. I'm going to be entering them into my data view. Each row actually represents now a case and the first one is age, so that's going to be a 10 scroll back up. The name is Eric and for the gender it becomes important whether or not your value labels is on or off. Now if I type in a capital M it will actually not pick up the depths for male. I actually have to type in the one that I assigned to the male part. And if we go back to the variable view in the gender here's my values that I assigned to the different options. There's another way though, is if you hit the value labels option or if you go to view and then value labels you can actually type in also, so if I remove it for now I can actually type in a capital M, a small m won't work and it will convert it automatically to male. Note that there's also a pull down menu so I can actually also select it and I can still use the uh, number itself. So even if I type in 1 it will still convert it to male. So normally when I'm entering the data I like to keep this option on so I can actually see if I typed in the right number. Now Eric actually watched Game of Thrones so that's a yes and he also watched The Walking Dead that's a yes but he doesn't watch South Park and no others was mentioned. His favorite brand is Nike he didn't specify anything, he therefore also likes Nike, but he also likes Adidas and also Puma. This should be a no, he didn't specify anything. Um, this is a strongly agree, this is a also a strongly agree, that's a 4. That's a 3, and that's another 3. Up for the next person, 11, that's Stan. He's also male. Uh, does he watch South Park? Uh, Game of Thrones? No. Oh. No. Uh, Walking Dead? No. South Park? Yes. And others? Yes. His favorite brands are... His Adidas. Oh, doesn't pick up on Adidas. Why is that? Don't know. And does he like Nike as well? Nope. Does he like Adidas? Yes. He also likes. Doesn't like Puma. Does like something else. And he even specified it to be. Oh, my caps lock is on Reebok. He agrees, and then he, oh, he actually didn't fill it out, so that's a 999, the missing value. Then he agrees, that's a 3, strongly agree, strongly agree, and strongly agree. Okay, next up, 230. Now that's probably incorrect, because I don't think anyone is 230 years old, so... I'll enter my missing value. That's Cartman. Male. Uh, watches Game of Thrones. Yes. But, oh, but none of the others. His favorite brand is Nike. He also likes Nike. Oh, yes. Uh, no, no, and other. Uh, other is a yes. He didn't specify anything. Enjoy. Yeah, so Cartman didn't specify anything, but he did check others. Um, enjoy is an agree, so that's a three, uh, a three, a three, and a three. Oops, this should be a three. Okay. Next up is Kyle. He is ten. Kyle, he's also male, 
he does watch uh, South Park and only South Park, so no, no, yes, and no. His favorite brands are, his favorite brand is Nike, he therefore also likes Nike, he doesn't like Puma, uh, Ali does, but he does like Puma, uh, he didn't specify anything else, and he strongly agrees, 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 and agrees. And then my last one, 14, is Linda. She is female. Uh, she wants something else. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, that was a double N. No. Yes, she likes Puma. And that's the only one she likes, so no, no, yes, no. And then she agrees, so that's a three, a three, a four, and a three. So basically I've now created, uh, entered the data. Note that if we turn off the value labels, it looks slightly different. And if we turn it back on, we see actually the values that go with the assigned numbers.